Ladies and gentlemen, this spring back here with your 11th Wrestling Ingram Wrestling News video today. So I have some news on WWE Stalk, no longer recommended due to declining ratings. Yeah, woohoo, like we already know that. So Ringside News put this out two days ago. And it reads the following. WWE is going through a bit of a rough patch. Yeah. I can see why. Vix McMahon and Bruce. Obviously. And so, yeah, Dodo is going through a bit of a rough patch and useless. Well, unless they can correct their problems, this will snowball into even more issues to come. I meant to say useless on purpose. They're just useless. They don't know what they are doing. With the with the WWE superstars, they don't know how to use their they don't know how to use their talent right correctly on television. This is this explains it all right here. Just like they did, just like just like they just like the way they the way they wasted Humberto Carrillo on Raw this week, just like they wasted Mustafa Ali after his loss to Bobby Lashley. They were both wasted. Shotzi Blackheart was also wasted on television. I don't even think she was fully aware that they were not using her right on television. But don't worry. Today, tonight, I'm gonna do your July the what is it? July the 29th, 2020 NXT review tonight, and we're, we are going to talk about that. And and WWE ending Dakota Kai indicates to me that they are going to bury her too. Which I don't think that's which I also don't think that's right. Each and every one of these superstars deserves to be used right on television. They don't deserve to be used incorrectly. That's just wrong, man. It really is to me. But anyways, Lightshed recently ran a piece where they can not recommend the purchase of WWE stock. They have assigned the company a neutral rating. It was slated that there are still simply too many critical questions surrounding the company for us to recommend the stock. The ratings were not exceptional. They were not exceptionally high. But the COVID-19 pandemic made things worse. Oh yeah, it did. The firing of Paul Heyman created even more it created even more unseenness in recommending the company's stock due to their plummeting viewership. It was said that they are open to once again recommending the purchase of WWE stock, but they need to see improvement in the ratings and content. Yeah, they do. There is also doubt concerning traditional cable networks, including the current partner's willingness to pay higher prices in the next round of negligations. As of right now, as of right now, folks, Lightshed no longer recommends the purchase of Dota stock, which is something they've done for seven years. Again, folks, they've done this for several years. That's a lot. The company needs to pull up their television viewership and fix issues with their content before much of anything else will improve. My sources Ringside News exclusively reported that Fox and USA Network are growing impatient with the viewership. I don't fucking blame them. I would too. This is a far cry from the previous idea that they are willing to wait for crowds to return to the rings. I don't blame them for going imp growing uh, impatient, folks. I don't blame them. I really don't. I would too. I'd be impatient myself. I'm that type of person that is impatient. Trust me. You'll see it and you'll learn it and you'll realize it. Folks, that's going to do it. Hit that like subscribe button. Turn on the bell for notifications. So, coming up next, I have another Ingram Wrestling News that I'm going to be uploading. And it's going to be titled, It's News On... WWE Raw third hour hits new all-time low in viewership this week. 
So be sure you check that out. I can't wait. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting to get to this for a while. Folks, see you on my next, see you on my next video. I can't wait for this, folks.